So PlayStation 5 is about to come out. And I wasn't expecting this box to get here for quite a number of days. It's my first time opening it. All I did was cut the tape, remove the address. Uh, ooh, ooh, hello. We can see it here. We can see it here. Let's get this out of here. Get the bubble wrap out of here. Get the box out of here. Yeah, this is what we came here to see. PlayStation 5 Media Remote. It's kind of cool. Let's see. Remote takes two AA batteries, has a manual and the remote inside. Entertainment at the push of a button. Conveniently control the entertainment of your PlayStation 5 console with intuitive layout. I got this because I like the one I have on the PS4 and I use it a lot. Uh, control your streaming apps on your PS5 console and the volume power setting of compatible TVs, which is kind of cool. And quickly access four popular entertainment apps. Internet required. Compatible PlayStation 5. I wonder if I could get this to work on anything else. I've been seeing reports of the PlayStation 5 remote working on the 4. Or not the 4, not the 4. The 3, <laughs> Switch, uh, PC, a couple other things. This is really nice. This is a nice box. And I just ripped it a little, <laughs> trying to be cautious and safe here. Oh, that's cool. This comes out. Less, less waste, I guess. And here we go. I'm not going to toss this box away like we did the other one. So inside's another box. I heard you like boxes. Really? <laughs> Sony. Japanese company. Made in China. But everything else they have is... Okay, so first we have the remote here. So I'm going to take that out. Got the instruction manual. If I can get these out, are these official Sony brand batteries? They are official Sony brand batteries. That is kind of interesting. And another box. All right. Wow. This is this is a lot smaller than I thought it would be. That's okay. Prefer the slim form factor remotes over the ones that are like a sandwich or a wrap size, you know. Wow. Look at that. So we have the TV button here. We've got a microphone. I guess if we are using something that has voice commands, we could push the microphone and be like, hey, I want to play this instead. There's the volume up and down. I'm going to guess if you have a Sony TV that's compatible, you can use this. There's a mute button. That's nice. We have a center button here to select. Get up, down, left, right. We have a return. I guess that's the menu or the share options. Rewind, play, pause, fast forward. It looks like there's shortcuts for Disney Plus, Netflix, Spotify, and YouTube. And the PlayStation button itself does go down in. Here's the back side of it. Let's see if I can get my camera to focus on it. It probably won't. It's hard to see it, but it does have those little um does have the Easter egg on here. Yeah, you can kind of see it there. But the the texture on here is like the PlayStation buttons, X, circle, square, triangle. It's kind of neat. Let's see, what does this do? There's a button back here that says push. I do not know why this thing is not focusing every time I go to use it. It's a little annoying. So you push, this comes off. That's the back plate. I think it's trying to focus on something else other than this. And then inside, if it won't focus, it doesn't want to focus. It's not focusing. Anyway, it says Sony right here. A couple other things here. And that's where the batteries will go. There we go. This is kind of nice. So I'm going to compare this to my Samsung, which you see right here. This is my Samsung TV. I don't have a computer monitor, so I use a TV. So I can put this on top of here. 
It's actually kind of nice in size. It's a lot thin, a lot thinner than the regular remote. And it takes two batteries, AA batteries. This is kind of hard to put back on. Let me see here. Okay, it looks like it should just snap right in, but it's not snapping right in. There it goes. It's very lightweight. This is the instruction manual that came with it. And this is heavier than the remote. Of course, I haven't put the batteries in here, but I'm pretty sure if I hold this, it's still pretty lightweight. It's a little bit lighter than this. Definitely lighter than the instruction manual. Ah, less than nine days or so to PlayStation 5 comes out. I can't wait.